Hi everyone. Welcome back. Um, I always start welcome back. Um, and then I always go back and cut it out, but I'm going to leave it today so that this, this, uh, tangent makes sense, but I don't know why I do that. I need to work on getting rid of my ums because I literally cut out several minutes worth of ums out of every video. But today is not going to be that day. So, sorry, not sorry. Anyway, today we have the long overdue, long awaited whip parade. Mid-year, time for a whip parade. Woo! So go get your something to drink. Because with champagne, with whip parades, I drink champagne. This is actually the champagne from my New Year's one. You know, that I was ready to go. I had to Google, does champagne go bad after six months? No, in case you were wondering. So let's get started. And hopefully the champagne outlasts the whips. But, you know, I've got over 50, so there's no guarantees. Hope you've got your drink. It's going to be a long one. Let's get right into it. So first we'll work on the ones that I am actively working on. Uh, work on. First we'll talk about the ones that I'm actively working on since they're on the top of the pile. Also, they're the ones that have had some progress since last time. I'm not going to bother putting up pictures of what they looked like last time because I'm already going to have to do a ton of editing to put in the model stitches for all of these. At least I think I won't. If I do, then maybe it then maybe it'll be here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's tomorrow Carrie's problem. Tonight, we're just getting in the recording. So first up, I have a small that I have been working on. And it is Mill Hill's Winter Holiday Collection Christmas Palm. And like I said, I don't know if you'll see the last time I showed it to you or not, but if you do, it's up there. And if you don't, it's if it's not, then I didn't. Um, but here's where I'm at right now. So palm tree is slowly taking shape. Uh, I had a couple of colors mixed up, so it's going to be a Carrie original. Most of my stuff is a Carrie original because by the time I get to it, I make at least one major mistake, but it's okay. And it's in my lovely Shakespearean insult pouch from the uh, Black Needle Society band, uh, restricted section band books box. Love it. Band books box. That's got some nice alliteration. I'm not even drunk yet and I'm already babbling. Ugh. Anyway, so I worked a little bit on that. I worked a little bit on this. Uh, I was watching Rogue Mama Stitcher, and she had started the Tiny Modernist Zodiac cell. Well, it was a cell from like 2021. Uh, and I was like, I have that, and I haven't worked on it in a long time. So I pulled it out and started working on it, and here's where I'm at right now. So I finished Aquarius, I'm working on Pisces, and I'm kind of doing bits of the frame while I go. So working on getting the frame together and all of that. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put these because I have a hunch as soon as they get bored, one or more dogs is going to show up like right here. Oh well, if they show up, then I'll move them. Okay, uh, one that I have been, one that I didn't talk about on my last floss tube uh, that I worked on last time. I haven't worked on it since, but I worked on it in the three months that between floss tubes, the, the great, the great pause was the Cozy Cafe Sal from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I forgot how much I love this one. They're all so cute, all the little cups. Um, 
So I pulled it back out and just got a little bit done on it, a few hundred stitches. I worked on it on 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, and this is, I guess I should be talking about, stop babbling and start doing. This is on, I believe, 18 count. Picture this plus Phantom. And I was kind of sad because I ordered it because I loved the pink streak through it. And I think I got that one little piece and it's not even going to be in the, that one little splotch of pink and it's not even going to be in the frame when I get done. Oh, well, that's the problem with hand dyed. They're all different. So um, this one is done on 16 count Haley's Garden by Mystic Fabrics. And here's where I'm at with this one. So I've got the cute little panda raspberry mocha done. Excuse me. The matcha, the Earl Grey tea, and the uh, strawberry lemonade I'm working on. And then the last, oh no, there's two more that I've been working on. Where's the other one? Just throw everything in a pile, Carrie. It'll be fine, Carrie. Okay, so uh, another one that I am working on, it, this is Ink Circles Fairy Ring Around the Rosy. And again, I don't know if I'll put up the last time I showed it to you or not, but if I do, it's up there somewhere. Um, and here is where I'm at right now. I've just come over one quarter done. I have probably gonna have to frog these two because they're stitched in a different direction. So all of the stripe is going this way. And then on these two, it's up and down. So I'm probably going to have to, um, words are hard. Probably gonna have to frog these two and stitch them again. But I also think I'm using a little bit more floss at this point than I should have, because it said that I should be able to use do two skeins and I am just over a quarter done and I'm almost done with the first skein, so I don't know. Uh, the silk is Trinway Silks in Mystic Fairy and the fabric is 16 count pearl from Mystic Fabrics. And by the way, just FYI, uh, I'm not gonna do a lot of shout outs today, but Mystic Fabrics, Misty, has actually started her own floss tube where she's gonna talk about, um, she's not gonna teach dyeing, but she's going to teach about the different kinds of fabrics uh, and some of their properties and how they take dyes and uh, just a lot of interesting stuff like that. And she's also a very talented stitcher, so I'm sure she's probably going to share some of her stitching too. But anyway, check it out, Mystic Fabrics Floss Tube. And then the last one, the one that I'm spending the most of my time on is, um, of course, I didn't bring the picture in here, but you're going to be able to see. I'm close enough to done that you're going to be able to tell what the pattern is. This is the Witch's Spell from Autumn Lane Stitchery. I am currently stitching it on 16 count Atlantis. And again, I don't know if I'll have the last time I showed it to you up here or not, but if I do, it's there. If I don't, it's not. And that's the last time I'm going to say that, I promise. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, but anyway, here's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so excited. It's getting so close to done. Uh couple more months, maybe less, hopefully less. I'm aiming for less, but I'm trying not to put too much, um, too much pressure on myself because that's when stitching stops being fun for me. So, you know, a couple months maybe and it'll be done. But look at, it's so close, it's so close. It's just this, just that. Oh, and I mean, there's some of this that has to be filled in, but. Oh gosh, and it looks so nice. I love it. I can't wait to get it framed. I can't wait to take it down to my framer so she can see it. 
Okay, so those are the things that I am actively working on. I have a whole bunch of other stuff here and it's all in a great big pile. So I don't know, um, I'm probably gonna have to dig through pictures. A lot of them I don't have models for, so I'll have to put models up as I'm talking about them. But let's go. So I am also, um, no, I'm not really working on anything else actively, but I do have a couple of things that were not, that were stored in the room where I'm working. Like they were things I hoped I was gonna get working on and actually just didn't. Um, so the first of those is the Supernatural Sal from The Witchy Stitcher. I've finished Cryptids. I am barely started on Supernatural. So if you'll see, um, if you didn't, if you're relatively new here and I haven't explained it before, the way I start is I'm a center starter, but then I count up to the top left corner and then I work across left to right on a page and um, so that is why this is going to look kind of funky in the way that it's stitched. So I started in the center which is somewhere in the unicorn here and I worked my way up so that I am working on the siren and the parts of the frame around the siren. Uh, this is 16 Count Olympia by Mystic Fabrics. It is the same fabric that I did cryptids on, so they will match when I'm done. And the other thing that I did on cryptids, I used a uh, hand-dyed floss that Stitchy Cat Lady uh, Joe had made for me on all of the creatures that had to do with water in place of like the greens and the blacks. Um, and so I've done that also with the siren. I used that same, um, same floss. And I think that's the only water-based creature on the supernatural cell, but if it's not, then I will put that, uh, that floss in there because I still have some left. Next up... The long forgotten deal struck. Now this is a pattern, this was from, uh, I think it's called White Raven or White Phoenix, White Phoenix Designs. Uh, this pattern is no longer available as far as I can tell. Uh, but I have kind of in a holding pattern, I have three pages done and I'm working on the fourth, which is Sebastian's hand. So, eventually I'll get back to it. And then when I do, I can do the other 200 and, uh, 205,000 stitches. No big, no problem, right? This is part of my quilt project. Uh, if you haven't been around for one of my whip parades before, uh, I am doing the Tiny Modernist Words to Live By series. And this is, uh, I don't know what year it's from, but I am doing all of the pieces individually. And then my plan is to take them to a friend who does quilting to have them made into a great big quilt uh, that can be displayed in my house. So this is the this is the square for part five, yeah, part five. Um, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I'm not very far on that one at all, but it's out because I was intending to work on it, and then I didn't because I'm awful like that. Instead of floss tube, itchy nose. Well, no, I'm gonna have floss tube, itchy nose too. I'm gonna have itchy eye and itchy nose. What the heck? Okay. Another one that I've kind of been actively working on, but it's been a little bit back burner, has been um, Pain Free. It's from Pain Free Crafts, and I can't remember the artist, uh, but it's the Chromatic Dragon. And I've just barely started this. I've got about 600 stitches in. I'm doing this 25 count Lugana easy grid. And here's where I'm at. 
So just the very tiniest start on that one. This one. We're going to skip for now because I'm not sure where the display piece is. Uh, I have the Lola Crow Christmas ornament series from this year, uh, the Victorian Creepy Christmas. I started the Creepy Carolers and again, I didn't get too far on it. Eventually the plan is to do all of them and then go back and finish the Cryptid series from last year. Another small ornament that I'm working on is uh, from Mill Hills when uh, Santa Cruz. And again, I just worked on this for a couple days. I don't think I even worked on it a couple days. I bet you I only worked on it one, given how much I've gotten done. Um, there's where I'm at on that one. What happened with this was I finished the winter sleigh that I I showed when I finished it, and. Charlie promptly decided to make it Charlie's first Christmas ornament by chewing it up. And so I got really discouraged and I decided I don't, I, don't, I don't want to do Christmas ornaments anymore. So I stopped. So that's why it, it barely got any done. Another piece that I am working on, let go. The problem with making a whip parade is you stack all of your whips together and the needle minders all stick together. Uh, this is a Haid. It is um, Mini Tea and Books by Bridget Ashwood. And I am doing this two over one tent on 25 Count Lugana. And just the barest start on this one too. Actually, not just the barest start. That's like 3,000 stitches. But it looks so small because it's on Lugana. It's a long way to go. Uh-oh. So, I started the hate cell this year. Uh, decided that I am not going to work on it right now for reasons, but before I decided that, here is as far as I got. I was got doing the Rainbow Dragons. So, on 18 Count Lugana, two over one full cross. I need to go check on the puppies to make sure that noise was not anything bad. I'll be right back. Refilled my glass while I was up. Um, yep, dogs are doing good. They came back from, they were boarded overnight, so they're sleepy. And that's why I figured it was a good time to actually do this. Because, oh, stop. Um, because they're more likely to leave me alone on a day that they have been to daycare and or boarding. Okay. More, continuing on my list of full coverages that I have barely started and never have any hope of finishing ever is Margarita Dragon. This is Stanley Morrison art. It's charted by, I always get this wrong. I think it's pain-free crafts. Um, so again, not a ton done on this one either. They're going to take forever and I'm never going to get them done. But I, and there you can see there is, I think I know where that's missing from. Um, but I love this, this floss 
or needle minder. If you see me with a seam ripper, now is not the time. Truth, truer words, never spoken. Okay. Somewhere along the line, I lost the picture for this one, so I'll have to look one up and put it up here. But this is one of my umbrella drink ones, umbrella drink projects. This is uh, Ink Circles 5 o'clock. And it's done on 16 Count Through the Stones by Be Stitch Me. And I'm coming up on a quarter done on this one. So there's where it's at right now. This is on my short list of projects to be worked on next after I finish Witch's Spell, along with uh, Cafe and uh, Cafe, Cozy Cafe Cell, and probably a couple others. This one is Stitch Rovia Awesome Myth. It is stitched, such as it is, on Mystic Fabrics 16 Count Unipoo, because you gotta buy a fabric that's named Unipoo, and you gotta put a uh, teal and purple nar narwhal on it, right? So here's where I'm at, not very far, but started. And I am in fact so awesome that people think I'm a myth, so it's appropriate. And if you believe that, I've got a bridge I'd like to sell you to. Ooh, one I have a picture for. This is, and it's right on top, bonus. Oh, there's ink circles, five o'clock. So I don't have to, I don't have to go back and find a picture of it. Let me get it back out. This next one, this is Ingleside Imaginarium Tea Cut Time Sampler. This is done in the called for silks, which were the Trinoy Silks Tea Time palette from Nashville Market last August. And I've actually made a decent amount of progress on this one. Um, it is on, I have no freaking clue. The sticker is gone. It's a picture of this plus. I know that much. It's a picture of this plus. I have no idea what color it is, but there we are. Ooh, I'm actually, that might be one to pull out put on the short list. I wasn't planning to, but it might be. Uh, this one is from the Stitching Collective's Earth Day fundraiser from last spring. It is the one that was, it was designed by Pixie, um, Pixel Pixie Stitch, and this is Biodiversity Matters. I'm doing it in the called for colors, and I did it on 32 count Belfast Linen in the color Wren. So there's where I'm at. Again, just a little bitty baby start on this but it's a small, so it should sti stitch up fast when I actually get around to stitching it. This one from Night Spirit Studio. This is the Three of Crafts. 
I am stitching it on 32 count Mothman from Lappin Loops. Another one of those smalls, although that one has a lot of color change, so I don't think it's going to be necessarily a very quick stitch. This one is my mental health start from last year. I didn't do a mental health start this year because I was in England. Um, but in May, which is usually... Um, mental health or with it's not usually it is mental health awareness month I usually do a mental health piece this is from Steph X stitches Stephanie Roars uh, self care cross stitch book and it is neurotransmitters I'm doing it on 32 count Lugana in helix by picture this plus and here's where it's at. And if you can't see what it said on the model, it says if you can't make your own store, neurotransmitters, store bound is fine. Okay. This one has a model picture somewhere in this pile. But I can't find it right now, and I can find this one, so I'm going to skip to this one. <laughs> so this is from Samplers Revisited, their wine series. And I'm doing wine. This is on a 28 count linen that I tea dyed myself way back on like floss tube, one of the first like 10 floss tubes I did. Um, it is, I think the Gentle Art Grape is the floss. And I hate this because I used a cheap piece of linen because I wasn't sure how my tea dyeing experiment was gonna turn out. And it is the worst piece of linen I've ever stitched on, which is why it's still sitting here like this. One problem with this linen is it is not perfectly square. That should be square. That is clearly a rectangle. So. It's one of those ones I've gotten really mad at and I might not finish this. I might actually buy a good piece of fabric and tea dye it and start over. We shall see. Next, I don't think I have a picture for this one. Um, this is the Avatar Sal from like 2021. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a picture. I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, it's stitched on an opal natural Ada. Uh, I don't remember the actual maker. Um, it's probably Zweigert or Vigilt because those are the two that I tend to order. Um, so I'm almost done with water. And I have four more to go, or three more to go. It's the, the, it's the four elements, the, okay. This is another one of my umbrella drink stitches. This is from Barefoot Needle Art, Stitch in the Hand. 
toes in the sand, stitch in hand. This is 16 Count Frost Ada by Be Stitch Me. And there's where it's at. Floss tube, itch nose. Oh, nose. That just went away. Okay, this is a project that I spent. I bought a long time ago because it reminded me of my dad who if you are not if you're new more than like the last year um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of his passing so I'll probably pull this out and work on it some more um, but this is Northern Sunset by Kim Price from Custom Crafts. And I started working on this uh, shortly after he passed away and I just couldn't cope for obvious reasons. Uh, so this is as far as I've gotten. Again, working up towards the corner. Okay, what else goodies do I have here? In case you're wondering how much more we've got to go. Um, is all this. I told you it was gonna be long. And my idea of short is 30 to 45 minutes. So when I say long, I mean long. So I guess I better talk faster, huh? But you didn't think I could talk faster. So this is from Climbing Goats Designs, The Wonders of the Solar System Cell. And the last time I showed it, well, not the last time I showed it. This is done on 16 count nothing uh, from Mystic Fabrics. And I just barely got a baby start on it. Tiny piece of, I think that might be Mars. The Coven Cell, which I believe I am the absolute, uh, furthest behind on the coven cell of all of the coven. Uh, we chose to do, oh gosh, it was like two years ago, Sleepy Hollow from Glendon Place. And I am doing it on 16 count after the harvest from Be Stitch Me. And like everything else, I've been, almost everything else I've been showing, I just got a very little start on it. From Ink Circles, this is just done on a plain, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Zweigert, um, but just a plain ivory, linen 32 count um, this is out there from ink circles and here's where this one is
This one from Lakeside Needle Crafts. Uh, this is their 2021, 2022, one of those Halloween cell. Spooky candles, Halloween candlesticks. And this is done on, it was a limited fabric of the month from Mystic Fabrics. I think it might've been called Pumpkin Patch. It was something pumpkin or pumpkin something. Um, but such a cute little mouse. I really need, I love all of these. I need to get back to work on them. What I need is to not have a job so I can just stitch all day. I'm taking donations, travel and stitch. That's all I want to do. I booked my next trip. Well, I booked my 2026 trip, my 2025 trip. I'm taking with someone else, so I have to uh, talk to them. But I booked my 2026 trip, and that gives me two years to pay for it. More to come later, obviously. This one is also on my short list to finish, not necessarily because I like it. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, uh, it's election season. I'm a little, uh, patriotic out right now. Um, but this is, so it's on the short list just because I think it's a finishes within striking distance on it. Um, but this is uh, Summer House Stitchworks Sister Suffragette. And this was obviously from 2020 when it was the 100th anniversary of the United States granting women the right to vote. Well, white women anyway. And the reason I think that it's not too far off of getting done is that here's where I am and I've only worked on it for a few hours at a time the couple times I worked on it so this is on the short list because I love it and I believe the designer may be watching so if you are hi Patty uh, this is the skeptics sampler and for those of these patterns that are not available uh, generally, like the Autumn Lane Stitchery, you can get so many places. Um, ink Circles, you can get so many places. I'm not gonna put a link for those, but for things like this, um, I will post a link in the, uh, the video description box. So this is the Skeptic Sampler, and I'm really excited about working on it. Um, and here's where it's at right now. One hanger down, woohoo! All right, this is my smalls hanger. This is largely Oh, one moment. <laughs> I totally should have left the camera on because that was blooper worthy. Trying to get that uh, chart that had fallen back behind because, I, well, it was just messy. So, This is my smalls hanger and the majority of it is the rest of the quilt pieces. So the tiny modernist words to live by pieces. I'm doing them on plain black. This is part 11, stay humble, work hard, be kind.
There's the beginnings of it. This is part eight. Love what you have. This one appears to be missing. I don't know what it is. I'll put a picture up here. Um, and then at some point, I guess I'll have to find that. Oh, I remember why. It's because it's the entire series is on that one. So it's, do, 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 do. This one, act as if what you do makes a difference. That's what that one was. So that was part 13. Uh, this is part three. It's worth having. This is my favorite one in terms of where I have it stitched. Uh, so I'm probably gonna save this one till last just because it's so fun, because it pretty much describes my life now, but it's part four, Recipe for Success. But I have just this stitched and I want, I, I just kinda wanna just like leave this and just like, Anytime someone asks me to do something, sorry. No, no, I can't go to that. <laughs> I'm a dork, I know. This is nothing new, where have you been? Speaking of where have you been, I am right now four new subs away from 400. And I would love to hit 400 subscribers in year four. So if you know anyone you want to send my way, I mean, once I hit 400, there's probably going to be a little something, something. So, yeah. And then this one is part 10, Understanding Life. And here's where I'm at on that one. And then the last is the centerpiece, part one, follow your dreams. And that's where I'm at with that one. So when all those pieces are done, um, then I'm going to try to find someone to make them into a quilt for me. I have a possibility in mind, but I have to see if she can actually do it. Okay. Another small, I'm not going to show you this one. Nah, nah. Um, I'm not going to show you this one because this is an adult sal. Um, it was the Urban Stitches After Dark Blackwork Sal. And uh, it is, yeah, it's adult. So... I'm not going to show you more than. If you want to see it, you'll have to look it up. The link will be in the description. Um, but you can see the back. So there's, you can see I have done hardly any of it anyway. Um, this was on a pride fabric from one of Mystic's fabrics. Pride year fundra uh, pride fundraisers um, one year. Like, I think it might have been 2020. Yeah, if you're curious, you'll just have to go look yourself. Sorry. I'll tell you when it's done. 
Okay. I have uh, Stitching Book Club's Frankenstein. This one is on hold because I made a huge mistake and I have to frog a whole crap ton. Uh, this is done on Picture This Plus Barnwood 16 count. It's done with DMC Light Effects 4015. Uh, variegated thread. Here is where it's at. The reason that I've been on pause on this one is this whole square has to be frogged because it's too high. See how this one has the lovely border here? Actually, both of these squares have to be frogged. See how this one has the border? These are too high up, the border won't fit. So it has to be frogged. So that one's been on hold. But I really just need to suck it up frog it because this is otherwise going to stitch up really fast and it's almost done. So, and it's so cool. I love the colors. All right, we got another hanger done. Woo woo. On to hanger number three. We've only got two left and hanger four is very light. So this is the bulk of what's left. And then I gotta put all this away. <laughs> that is the worst part about doing whip parades. The best part is champagne. The worst part, I have to put everything back. And I also see like 15 different things that I really want to be working on and I don't have time. The problem I've been having is because I jump all over the place and I have 50 whips started and they all just have a little bit started. That's why I've just picked Witch's Spell and I'm going to finish it. That's going to be my new thing is I'm going to pick one and work on it until it's finished and I'll work on other ones a little bit, but... So this is Sue Hillis Designs. It's part of her Happy Camper series, High Tides and Good Vibes. This one's on a semi-timeout because I've made so many counting mistakes. I'm not really sure um, how it's going to turn out. Um, this is being done on... 16 Count Ada in April Showers by Be Stitch Me. There's a Lexi here on this. Oh, Lexi. Um, and there's where I'm at. It's a little, but it there's so much color changing going on that it's kind of slow stitching. So... Even though it looks like it should be almost done, it's actually got quite a bit more. This is on my short list. Um, this is hands-on design, blissfully unaware. If you're reading this, you are blissfully unaware of what is creeping up behind you. I would love to have this done by Halloween. But as you'll see, it's kind of a long way off. Uh, this is 16 count garden party from Be Stitch Me. In case you're wondering, I have a Fabric of the Month from Be Stitch Me and a Fabric of the Month from Mystic Fabrics, so that's why I do a lot of stuff on their fabrics. Um, plus, they're just really good. So, here's where I'm at. This is the Steady Thread Blackwork Sal. 2021 or 22. 
And there's where I'm at. I'm not great at black work, so I have to really be in a specific mood to pull it out. That's why those two are not very far along. And why I have several other black work patterns in my um, my stash that I haven't even started yet. Okay, this is Autumn Lane Stitchery, Potions and Spells. This is on, I am really glad I started keeping the cards on them, even though it makes it kind of a pain to put them on the Q-snap sometimes because I forget what the fabric names are. Uh, this is 16 Count Ice Queen from Be Stitch Me. And this is another one where I just barely started it. This one's semi close to being done. Well, it's not semi close to being done, but it's a fast stitch. Excuse me. The problem I have is I want to substitute out the shoes for something else. But this is Bobby G Designs Life's Journey. So life jour life's journey is not to arrive safely at the grave in a well-preserved body, but rather to skid in sideways, totally worn out, shouting, holy cow, what a ride. And I want to switch out the shoes for something else because shoes aren't really my jam. If you could tell from what I've been working on here. But here's where I am at on this one. And this is just a plain, this is a 14 count Charles Craft ivory. Okay. Then I have. Oh, I'm missing a, no, I'm not. There it is. Um, this is Tiny Modernist Unicorn Tapestry. This is another one that's on my short list. I think it's the last one that's on my short list. Um, this is stitched on... Sixteen Count Zweiger Ada in Riviera Aqua. And I haven't really started that very much at all. This is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Hello Sunshine. I am stitching it on 16 Count Escape by Be Stitch Me. And I haven't gotten very far in it at all. Story of my life, story of my stitching life anyway. One of the big ones. Autumn Lane Stitcheries, Dark Queen of the Seas. I have got a lot of stitching done on this, and when I say I'm barely, um, barely into it, like I'm literally on the second part of it. It's like thousands and thousands of stitches in these. They're huge. I haven't even started Dark Queen of the Earth yet. 
um, I forget what this fabric is called, but it was the called for fabric for the Sal by, by um, Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, so there's where I am at on this one. Another one that is the first of a set that I haven't started the others. I haven't even purchased the greenhouse or the aquarium yet. Not until I finish Lola Crow Cross Stitch Haunted Library. Uh, it was the first of the three cells and then greenhouse was last year. And then this year the aquarium is going right now. This is being stitched on Brain Fog. 16 count from Mystic Fabrics. And there's where it's at. Oh, now I want to put that on my short list too. My short list is getting very long. I want to work on all of them. Silver Creek Samplers Moonshine. The moon said to me, do not wait to be whole to let your light shine from the depths of your soul. This is 16 count dapple from, I'm thinking it's Zygert. Um, and there's where I'm at on that one. This is Climbing Goats Designs Wonders of the Hubble Telescope. It is being stitched on 16 count. It's a mystery by Be Stitch Me. And I just barely got this started. All right, now we are at my absolute oldest whip. I started this in January of 2020. Um, it is Clouds Factory, Grimm's Fairy Tales. And it is one of my goals to finish it this year. That said, it is not on my short list to be started next because it, when I say I don't like it, it's not that I don't like it. I love the pattern. I think it's adorable. Um, it's just that I like to stitch on other things better. Uh, this has a lot of very small areas, and then you have to change color. Uh, so it stitches up slow for me. So I just don't enjoy it as much. This is done on 16 count picture, this plus jade. And here's where I am. So I believe one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm working on the seventh part, which is not actually the seventh part because um, I'm doing them in the order I want, not the order they came out. So I have six and a half left to go. And yeah, I gotta work on it, but it's hard to get motivated. All right, here is another full coverage. This is a piece of my own, uh, well, it's not really my own design. It was, I charted it based off of a still from the anime Yona of the Dawn. Because amazingly, how many of you have heard of Yona of the Dawn? Would you be surprised to know that there are not a lot of patterns out there? In fact, there are not any patterns out there for Yona of the Dawn. 
not surprising at all <laughs> because it's not very well known, but it is awesome. If you like anime, go watch it. There's only one season. It's, well, maybe not because then I got sucked into the manga because I had to know what happened after the anime ended and, and I'm now in volume in thirties somewhere on the manga. Um, but I've just got a little bitty baby corner of this started. Another Clouds Factory sale. That was 2020. This one was 2021. It's a There Is No Planet B, The Endangered Species. Um, Sal, I am doing this on Winter Blues from Be Stitch Me. And I finished January and started on February. So that's where that's at. This piece, there's a story behind this piece. Um, this is the Walk Fast Sampler from Lindy Stitches. And when I originally started this, I intended it to be a sal for Betty White's 100th birthday. And as you probably know, Betty White passed away on New Year's Eve. So just a few weeks before what would have been her 100th birthday. So then we made it into kind of a... I made it into a tribute cell and got a big chunk, like pretty close to a quarter of the way done on it while I was working on it. And this is another one I want to bring out. <laughs> My short list is getting longer. Um, this is another one I want to bring out to work on. But it's a quote from the Golden Girls. It's like that, that it's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can lead a herring to water, but you better walk fast or he'll drown. All right, we are done. We have one hanger left. It's got three pieces on it because this is my BAP hanger, my big ass piece hanger. And several of my big ass pieces are being worked on right now, like um, Deal Struck and the Zodiac Cell. Long dog samplers. I was tempted to pull this out and to do June dog with everybody else. And I persevered and didn't do it. Um, this is Pandemic. I am stitching it in my regret. I'm stitching it completely in $37.99 on 18 count Da Vinci. I wish I would have added some color to it um, by Picture This Plus. Um, but the fabric's gorgeous, isn't it? So here is where I've gotten to on this and yes it will take this whole thing so BAP number one BAP number two I made a counting error on this one and it made me mad so I put it up and it's also got almost 300,000 stitches on it um, this is bookworm from charting creations and stupid me, this is before I knew how full coverage worked and that I should use 25 count Lugana, uh, I decided I was going to do this one on 18 count Ada. So here's where I am. That is about 700 stitches and about half of those are wrong. So I put it up and forgot about it until some other date, but it's not going into long-term timeout because when it's done, it'll look freaking awesome. So there's that. And then the last of my big projects is uh, from Son of a Stitch, the Good Place Sal. Everything is fine, Sal. Um, so I've pretty much finished except for the bottom of it, uh, Michael's Square, and I'm working on Tahani's. But when it's done, this will have, I think, 10 squares. There were, I think it was, there were 11 squares released, and there's room on this for 10, and then the centerpiece. 
So, again, I don't have any plans to work on this in the immediate future, but it's going to be cool when it's done, so I'm not going to put it up yet. So that's it. That is all of my projects. I have a lot of work to do, and that's not counting the entire file cabinet full of patterns, the entire hard drive full of patterns I have that I want to work on someday. So yeah, I need to get done here, finish this bottle of champagne, feed the dogs, and get my butt to work. Oh yeah, and at some point I have to edit this. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Until I see you again, stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time. Bye.